탄소중립 달성을 위해서는 에너지 분야 시스템 전반에 걸친 혁신이 필요합니다. 우선 현재 화석연료 중심에서 청정에너지로 탈바꿈해야 합니다. 전기화도 급속도로 진행될 것으로 보입니다. 이 과정에서 전력망 인프라의 획기적 확충, 재생에너지 변동성 대응을 위한 스토리지 믹스와 P2G, P2H, V2G와 같은 섹터 커플링의 구현, 탄소 포집 저장 활용 기술 확보, 그린 수소 상용화 투자 확대, 에너지 수요 감축 및 효율 향상 등 에너지 분야의 무수한 난제들을 극복하고 해결해야 합니다. 또한 저탄소 에너지 시스템 구현을 위해 제도와 인프라도 혁신해야 합니다. 기존 화석연료 기반의 에너지 정책과 제도로는 기업들의 비즈니스 전환, 신산업 창출을 감당해내기 어렵습니다. 저탄소 자원이 보다 많이 에너지 시스템에 수용될 수 있도록 규제를 풀고 제도를 혁신해야 합니다. To get the net zero emissions, we will require nothing short of a total transformation of our energy system. That is why we have just released a new roadmap, the most comprehensive and detailed attempt ever made to spell out what net zero 2050 means in practice. Let's make no mistake. The pathway is narrow but still achievable, and we have no time to spare. We are in a race to net zero, but this is not an ordinary race. Countries are starting in very different places, and some, especially in the advanced economies, will need to finish well before the others. This is not a race against each other. This is a race against time. The first priority is to make 2020s a decade of a massive clean energy expansion focusing on the technologies like solar, wind, electric cars that are ready for the big time, plus a huge improvement in energy efficiency. We're here to talk about an enormous challenge with implications for governments and businesses around the world. Climate change. No single business, city, or nation can take on climate change alone. We have to work together to build effective partnerships and raise our ambitions. And while it's critical to set goals for 2030, we also need to make progress now. As UN Special Envoy, I've worked with leaders at every level to do that, particularly on coal-fired power plants. Burning coal remains the largest contributor to climate change and it's a deadly threat to public health. At Bloomberg Philanthropies, we've worked with partners to retire more than 60% of all U.S. coal plants since 2011, and more than half of European plants since 2016. We've also expanded our work globally, including in South Korea. At the beginning of my speech, I mentioned Hanwha Solutions' mission. It is also about making a difference in communities which is why, as we've enhanced and expanded our green energy solutions, we've also sought out opportunities to use those solutions for the greater good. Each government and international organization in attendance today has the power to improve the lives of a community in need. The interesting thing about working for the greater good, however, is that the greater your numbers, the more good you can achieve. Through cross-sector collaborations, we can combine our capabilities to create lasting change in more communities. Reforestation projects like Hanwha Solar Forest demonstrate the true power of these collaborations. Business case and all the certainty around it that it will be possible. We, we chose to do it wholeheartedly, and we got the partnership from governments, not least uh, Denmark, UK, and uh, and and, uh, and and Netherlands, who gave the policies that were actually certain, and we had then the safety to make long term. So that was possible, and now we are um, in less than ten years making a full transformation into a fully renewable company. Next frontiers are going to be 100% renewable generation in 2025. 
2025년까지 이것이 가능할 것이라고 생각이 되고 2040년까지 저희 온전한 공급망의 탈탄소화가 가능할 것이라고 생각을 합니다. We need to better reflect the context on the ground and work in partnership with those who know best, i.e. the local actors themselves, so to align with their development priorities. Currently, to develop energy projects in sub-Saharan Africa, financial support from the international development community is provided largely on a project-by-project project basis through a combination of offshore provision of grants, debt finance and guarantees, through which to cover utility and sovereign credit risk. This approach is piecemeal and relies on heavily indebted governments assuming very large fiscal liabilities to backstop the obligations of their utilities. It's a sticking plaster and not a cure. and allow us to open up these new markets. And by using finance in this very catalytic way, we hope that we can really have a beyond the front sharp edge of innovation. Solutions like Energize Africa um, potentially are limitless in their growth, and they're highly replicable around the world. The base one between half a megawatt and two megawatt of solar installations and feeding them directly to the demand on the demand side. Side by side, we're also putting together small battery storage units, which are able to, to store uh, uh, energy from solar and use it for multiple purposes in the, in the, in the villages. For example, uh, public lighting, most parts of rural India do not have public lighting. We have estimated the total requirement of public lighting in, in villages is upwards of about 50 million in the country. So, that's, so the, uh, the public lighting can, uh, 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 is one. And you can add many more things like, like we need to partner and collaborate as interesting in part in this chain and knowledge energy carrier. And in this area where we can benefit, it's where we can benefit from other efforts, national platforms and networks, connected with potential of acres, technology providers, and project developers. We are here in Chile developing what we call a clean hydrogen policy, position the country as a source of clean fuels and energy carriers. We have an energy partnership with Germany. I've already signed MOUs with Singapore and the Port of Rotterdam to carry out joint work on setting up national supply chains of green hydrogen and derivatives. And we seek to re replicate this bilateral cooperation with other target markets around the world. Um, thank you, Shane. Um, across India, across Africa, and in Europe as well, that, that we heard. Um, and that absolutely illustrates the role and the potential for P4G um, to help kind of uh, link together some of these examples, share knowledge, best practice, unlock uh, hidden capacity, uh, transmit those examples, dare I say, from shall I say, south to north, because there's some great examples going on here of innovation in emerging economies, which I feel that Europe or the US or others could really learn from. Partnership isn't just one-way traffic, there are two ways to this. Um, and then with the support of the World Economic Forum as a partner and collaborator in P4G to help use our networks um, and uh, uh, partnerships and opportunities and uh, relationships with uh, governments and investors to get to scale that we need. Uh, we can get together, uh, we can brainstorm together, uh, we can figure out and we can help each other how we can make the progress together. I think uh, we have a great uh, future and hope here. I hope that we can continue to brainstorm on this, uh, this is the first step, but I hope that we can continue those efforts together. So let's uh, work together to achieve 
the global carbon utility together. Global Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. It's key because it's innovation uh, which has allowed to lower costs of renewable uh, energy. And, uh, we are not cut cost by 10 uh, on solar. We wouldn't be talking about renewable Innovation will be key uh, for uh, hydrogen uh, to make hydrogen uh, 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 a reality uh, tomorrow. We continue to be key to optimize uh, all the uh, power system to be able to uh, take into account uh, uh, how to manage the intermittency of, of, uh, of renewable energy. We are investing uh, 1 billion on the battery for, uh, for electric vehicles. 그리고 전기자동차 부문에 약 15kg 정도를 투자하고 있습니다. 에안 이노베이션 이 역시 정말로 핵심적이고 중요하다고 생각하기 때문이고 에너지 전환을 위해서는 혁신이 필수적입니다. 나머지는 에너지에서 about the, you know, the world is how you build partnerships. Uh, by the end of the second quarter, uh, we'll announce a JV with Renault, with plug power Renault, we'll be putting fuel cell late commercial vehicles on the road by, in the coming year. Actually, we're looking to do 10 pilot sites in 2022. There have been some real hero companies who have put their head above the parapet in, um, in, in Asia Pacific. Um, Rico, our first Japanese member, SK, uh, um, SK Hynix, and, and five other members of the SK group, our first Korean members. They've taken a big risk by saying, look, we're going to, we're going to tackle this, we're going to commit to 100% renewable to send a signal to the government. What's needed now and what is happening is for those governments to respond by saying, OK, we recognise this huge demand, we reckon, recognise the com com competitive imperative to allow renewables to compete. And so what's needed now is for those governments to really accelerate action to allow power purchase agreements to provide good tracking of renewable electricity and to reduce tariffs and other uh, barriers to renewables. In many markets uh, and projects, uh, concerns from the local residents uh, become issues. So it is critical for developers to suggest mutual success and a sustainable partnership uh, to the local communities, uh, which is always uh, Renova's uh, highest priority. Uh, secondary, uh, the transmission line upgrade is becoming a hard work for governments uh, with aggressive target for renewables. Uh, of this issue, uh, both uh, government and uh, developers uh, need to sit together uh, to come up with plans for grid upgrades. The main federations of Danish industry, Danish energy, uh, food and land use into identifying what would be the best work streams for bringing in the private sector, and then they identified these 13 main uh, sectors and, and then they ask the industry itself to organize in those working with their main associations and also with uh, with experts in how you could drive the 70% reduction target through each each sector and they each came up with a roadmap and in a way offered what they could do uh, under existing regulatory conditions, uh, with improved regulatory conditions, uh, with existing financing, with public financing, and, and with private financing, in a way showing the different options and, and opportunity. Action is needed to address these barriers in order to attract global financial flows and crowd in private investments to shift to renewable energy-based power systems and meet national climate economic 
The Green Climate Fund, as I had mentioned earlier, is the large, world's largest climate-focused uh, fund, developing, helping developing countries to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions and enhance their ability to respond to climate change in line with the Paris Agreement. We do this across four transition areas, the built environment, human security, livelihoods, and well-being, land use, forest and ecosystems, and the topic at hand, which is energy and industry. We plan to ensure that the families can still be supplied with energy through the individual solar panels without sending their kids to school, as long as they allow and encourage their children to listen to the educational contents through the solar milk, the red milk. So we can, you know, like them. You know, become a very important uh, devices that can sustain the education, even in you know the, the prolonged pandemic. 아이들에게 교육의 기회를 제공할 수 있는 중요한 역할을 하게 되었습니다.